this is a network switch. This is a network switch. This is a network switch. Er. Hey there, home lovers and cell posters. Rich here. We don't usually get to do videos about vintage hardware, but I just kind of fell in love with this device here and I really wanted to share it with you. And because it is just so absurd, I figured we'd test it out and see if it could support up to 10 gig ethernet. That is after we tear it apart and look inside of it, of course. This is an RJ45 switcher, model CA284E, made by a company called AV Link Systems. Its whole job is to allow you to switch between two network connections manually. And it's premium. Up front, we have a hardy selector switch that makes a rather healthy click noise when rotated between A, B, C, and D. Around back, we have the five RJ45S connectors, with four of them being for your downstream devices and the one marked I.O. being the upstream device you're connecting to. What is an RJ45S jack, you say? Well, thanks for asking. The RJ45S is an obsolete standard jack that was once used for modems and data interfaces, and the only easy way to tell the difference between it and a standard RJ45 jack is that little cutout notch in the inside left of the opening. The intended function for a switcher box like this was to be able to share or switch connections between something like an ISDN modem and another system manually. Keep in mind, we did have network hubs and switches around that time as well, so I'm not entirely sure why anyone would opt for something like this over an actual network switch. I guess now that I think about it, it's really like a very high latency manual network switch where the human is the CPU. Anyway, thanks to my ADHD, I spent way too much time trying to find out more information about this device. You can still find them online, available for sale from some rather janky looking third party sellers, but AV Link Systems has entirely erased the existence of the device from their website. Erased from existence. If you have any knowledge about this thing, I would love to hear about it in the comments below, or even better, on our Discord. Shameless Discord plug. Anyway. Let's crack this thing open and see how they managed to switch all eight conductors of an ethernet connection in that rotary switch. It takes just four screws to remove the top lid of the switcher, and once opened, we find the coolest and strangest little rotary selector switch I've seen in a while. Looking like some kind of sci-fi brain scanning helmet, that rotary selector switches eight conductors at a time. It's just the coolest looking thing and probably a real pain to build by hand, with each conductor soldered to a little post on the individual layers of the switch. Attached to the rotary selector looks to be Cat5 cable to make the patches over to the RJ45S connectors in the rear. I'm assuming they're Cat5, but they could even be Cat3. Their labeling on the jacket doesn't actually list their category, just that they're EIA TIA compliant. I wasn't even sure if the switcher was even properly cabled straight through, or if there were some other shenanigans going on here with how the ports were wired. So I grabbed a basic Ethernet continuity tester and tested the connectivity. With the switch on, we get a full pass of the cabling. And with the switch off, we get an open or fail, which is what I expected, but you never know. Given that I wasn't even certain that this thing would actually work with modern ethernet connections, let's see what happens when I put the switcher in line between a PC and a network switch. As you can see, our network is in a disconnected state. I'll switch the switch, and we see the connection light up. No receive happening. There we go. Looks like I grabbed an IP address, and let's test with a quick ping. And a ping shows us that it's able to move packets, so it works. All right, so we know it works with a one gig connection since we just saw it working on my desktop, so why not check and see if we can pass 10 gig through it while we're at it? And to no one's surprise, it worked fine without issue. Keep in mind that the distance I tested the 10 gig was really small, so it's likely that it would have passed anyway, but hey, it's cool I tested it, right? These days, there really isn't a use case for a device like this. Gone are the days of direct connecting ethernet devices to get to the internet, and so a device like this is really destined for the great technology trash heap in the sky, and will only really live as an unremarkable footnote in history, along with the other serial and parallel port switchers of yore. And to be honest, that kind of makes me sad. So I think we should send this thing off in style by making a final farewell commercial just for fun, and here it goes. Are you tired of all those fancy newfangled network switches that just seem to work too well? Do you long for the days when technology was simple, inflexible, and incredibly frustrating? Introducing the RJ45 Switcher! It's so old it's practically an antique. Why settle for sleek and efficient when you can have clunky and confusing? Our engineers worked tirelessly to ensure that this device takes you on a nostalgia trip every time you use it. 
And the best part, it's completely devoid of modern conveniences. Forget about those pesky touchscreens, graphical user interfaces, or modern AI assistants. With the RJ45 Switcher, you'll rediscover the lost art of turning a knob to control your access to the internet. And when, by some miracle, you do get it to function, you'll experience a sense of accomplishment like no other. So why waste your time with cutting-edge technology when you can have the RJ45 Switcher and experience the joy of outdated struggles? Buy the RJ45 Switcher today! And really, the good old days of technology, where frustration was the name of the game and only one person could use the internet at a time! What a life! Disclaimer, we take no responsibility for broken nails, frazzled nerves, or missed appointments caused by the RJ45 Switcher. Please consider using modern technology if you value your sanity. And that, friends, will do it for this video. If you liked it, throw us a sub and a like, and if you have a beef with anything that I've said here, let me know in the comments below. Special thank you to our YouTube members. You guys help keep the lights on, and we thank you for it. If you'd like to support the channel, consider becoming a member or buy some of our awesome swag. It all helps us keep making videos. And now that you've watched this video, how about checking out this place over here of other great hardware reviews we've done in the past. If you're looking for your next great piece of modern hardware gear, we can help you find it. Mm.